Hey guys I just started an Amazon affiliate link so, if you want to help me be able to make better content please purchase something by classing the link in the description and purchasing anything. It won't cost you anything extra, and will really help build this community. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoy the video. Welcome to r slash infidelity, where we get to hear people's stories of servant via partners cheating. Now for the first story. Discovered that my wife of 22 years had an affair with her boss slash mentor for the past 18 years, with a 4 year break relating to birth of our second son. 9 days since day, when I confronted my wife of 22 years, married 1998, and discovered that she began an affair with her boss slash mentor around 2003 slash 4. Apparently there was a breakup when she got pregnant in 2011 with our second child, but the affair resumed in 2014 slash 15 when she fell into a deep depression related to the death of her father and also became alcoholic. She is 52 now, I'm 51, the app is now 70. The story has morphed over the past days, with her gradually confessing more and more sexual intimacy over the years. But she has steadfastly maintained there was never intercourse because he was impotent. She says there likely would have been if he had been able to achieve an erection but he couldn't. She admits she loves him as a special person in her life who was supportive and that they told each other that they loved each other. At my insistence, she cut ties with him, they no longer work together, but have professional associations she has cut. She says she wants to stay married, we had been recently been trying to improve our relationship, with some success, but she has reacted with a lot of anger and hostility over the past week. I feel like she isn't really fighting for the marriage. We have begun couples therapy, in the first session she framed the issue as for 20 years I have been abandoned by my husband, and for 20 years had a supportive relationship with the app. Sometimes she is emotional, however, and seems sincere, just not doing the work, and not really desperate to try to make me feel better. I'm of course completely shattered. I feel like the past 18 years I've been stolen from me. I don't know what the events of my family life have even meant. I'm re-evaluating everything. I can't shake that she is continuing to lie to me about the sex with the app. My theory is that the impotence issue may have been a recent issue and she used that to cover the entire affair. I really can't move on based on a lie. Don't know what I'm going to do. Folks all consistently say to take my time and not do anything irreversible while in such shock. I'm crushed. But it has been helpful reading posts here. Would be grateful for reactions to my story too. Many thanks. Now for the next story. I'm grieving my family. I'm 19 f I have a little sister I'm sobbing in my bathroom my mom had decided she is choosing the other guy over me and my sister my dad doesn't have a good paying job to support us in the expensive state we live in we have to move to where our extended family lives in another state we have to leave the family that I built here my friends and my boyfriend I have so much to say but I'm all over the place I just can't believe I wasn't enough for my mom my beautiful and wonderful sister wasn't enough for her I am so heartbroken I know this isn't really what this subreddit is but I just need someone out there to hear me I feel so bad for my dad he doesn't know what to do there was nothing I could do when their relationship was going bad I was a child they never would actually divorce when they said they would so I thought it was always going to be okay I'm scared I'm a 19 year old woman trying to get through college at home, but I feel like I did when I was little. Crying alone wishing mommy and daddy could be like how they are in the movies I am. So heartbroken I hope the mods don't remove this. I need to be heard someone I wish I was enough I wish me and my sister were enough how could she chose another man how I'm okay if they get divorced but she expects me and my sister to want to live with her and this stranger how is ruining my life I can't stop crying I feel so small my dad have been living. In the garage for months I feel so bad I want him to hold me, but I don't want him to cry I wish I was enough I want a mom to hold me and tell me I'm okay I miss my mom. Edit. Hello I decided to go back and fix some grammar mistakes. It turns out it's easier to type when you're not crying lol to clear some things up my sister is 13 we both agreed we don't want to live with her and this man we don't want to know this summer it seems they are going to sell the house and we are going to move out of state and I'm not sure what my mom is going to do we are going to live with family in another 
state until my dad can get on his feet and yes I did have a job before and I'm okay with getting another one to help him out. The advice and kind words I got from this post made me and my little sister feel known and heard thank you all so much I will return with an update once I know more slash more stuff progresses. Our words go out to you up I hope your situation. But now for the next story. I found out my husband of 23 years has been having an affair. Yesterday I made a post on Reddit, and after reading some of the comments and reflecting on some of the behaviors I have noticed over the last year or so, I left work early and went home. I knew he would be home for lunch, and I decided to talk to him to find out why he was putting his friend over me. We have been married for 23 years. We have been dating since high school, and I thought everything was good. We have one child who will be 19 next week. We were discussing retirement plans and downsizing our home for when our son moves out. The issues began when he met his friend, who I now know is his affair partner two years ago. Over the last year or so, he would drop everything to go help him. He would cancel dates or plans with me to hang out with him. Sometimes he would even bring him with us on date nights. This friend was always cold towards me. I never knew why. Any time I brought it up with my husband, he would just dismiss it, or tell me that the friend was shy, or he didn't mean it. So like an idiot, I believed him. God I'm so stupid. After I made the post, things just clicked for me. So I confronted him. I asked him why he kept cancelling our plans to be with the friend, if maybe he was doing it on purpose and he agreed with me. So I asked if there was something more going on between them than just friendship, and that's when he dropped the bomb. They have been involved in a romantic relationship for over a year. I didn't know whether to cry or throw up. He told me that he believes he is bisexual, and that he is confused. He said he loves me, but he loves him too, and doesn't know what to do. I told him that his confusion with his sexuality is no excuse for cheating, and gave him until last night to get out of the house. I spent last night with my sister. I told her that he cheated, and I'm leaving him, but that's all she knows. I'm meeting with a divorce lawyer tomorrow afternoon. My husband has been blowing up my phone since he admitted to the affair and I left. He is begging me to take him back. Told me he would stop the affair with his friend. Has been crying and begging me to not abandon him, but I cannot bring myself to talk to him. My son came to my sister's after he got off work and I just told him that his father and I were divorcing, that he admitted to having an affair. My son asked who the affair partner was, and I told him that he should talk to his dad if he needed more details. As much as I hate that man right now, I do not feel it is my place to disclose his sexuality. And god do I hate this man right now. My son left and apparently got into a huge fight with his father and basically told him that he was dead to him. I went back home this morning and I got physically sick when I pulled into the driveway. My home is a house of lies. I'm the world's biggest fool. I'm a walking joke. He left me a note by the coffee pot, something he did every morning, and he told me I was the love of his life and that nothing or no one would ever change that and all I could do is cry. For the last 24 hours I have cried so much that I don't think I have any tears left. I don't know what to do or where to go. I want to be anywhere but here. Am I doing the right thing? Am I overreacting? Is it possible to forgive him and move on? Or will he just do this again and be sneakier about it next time? Do I want to spend the rest of my life worrying if he will cheat on me with another friend, a stranger? I just don't know what to do. He was my rock. He was my best friend. At times like this, I would go to him for support, but he is the cause of my pain and I just don't know what to do. Now for the next story. I missed every single sign available to me. I'm a complete fool. It's so obvious in hindsight. He was in love with her the entire time. I cried myself to sleep about a year ago because he made a comment about comparing us. I should have known the moment he started comparing dating me versus her. He spoke about us so objectively it broke my heart. In the comparison, he said I came out on top because I actually have my life together, career-wise slash financially, smarter and actually have other hobbies and passions beyond drinking. In his words, considering her is a downgrade. At the time, these words gave me a sense of security, as though yes I'm great so like why would I worry? I just wish I didn't come out ahead. I really 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 wish I didn't, then he could have left without cheating on me. 
I wish she was better. He mentioned her 2 to 3 times a week. When we were together in person 80% of our conversations were about this girl. He sent incriminating flirtatious text messages with timestamps that corresponded to the times we were on the phone with each other. I'm appalled. How did you send those while you hear my voice on the line? Somehow, in my head I managed to convince myself oh she just sounds like a cool friend. I know an unusual amount of information about a random girl named C underscore doing her PhD. I know about her hardships, I know about her problems, I know her preferred alcoholic beverage of choice, I know her cumulative undergrad average, I know how much she struggled in school, I know she failed 6 classes, I know her struggles with her parents, I know her struggles with her brother, I know her struggles with her ex from 7 years ago, I know her abuse stories, I know she struggles with her body image, I know she did vegan to try and lose weight, I know she's on a keto diet, I know she's heavier, or fatter, idk, than me, I somehow know all her insecurities, and a lot about this person, without knowing her, while she likely knows little about me, because I'm not talked about, and I was clearly not top of mind, I'd never even met her, I don't even know what she looks like, but yet I know so much, and I never picked up the signs, yet, Somehow I was ignorant enough to believe he actually loved me when most of the time he was talking about her. Our conversation centralized around here, yet I still somehow missed every sign that the universe gave me. Why did I have to wait until he cheated to walk away? Why did he choose to beg for me back when deep in his heart he is in love with her? None of this makes any sense until I could serious conclude that this is because he is a coward. He is afraid of losing the financial stability I would inherently provide. He is afraid of being alone and won't take the risk of breaking up first to shoot his shot on a new girl. He is afraid of having to explain to his parents why I'm gone. He is afraid of explaining to his friends how he lost someone that was so good to him. He is afraid of dealing with life and the consequences, so he tried to shift the blame on me. He is insecure, frail and has no backbone. I'm done mourning. It is done. It is over. I'm moving forward. Edit. I just woke up at like 7am to an overwhelming amount of support based on upvotes slash comments. I wrote this at 3am to clear my head and didn't expect much. While I'm sad and a bit disappointed in society with the fact that this seems to resonate with so many people. Thank you for the support it's appreciated. I have to lodge into work and check out of reddit. Now for the last story. About a week and a half ago I made a decision to stop caring. I've been living with my cheetah soon to be ex-wife for the last 8 months and some change in order to do her the favor of selling the house I bought for her that I hated at a loss because 8 months ago I still cared. I still loved her even if I knew I couldn't forgive this again. I still respected her because I was still excusing get behavior in my head for her. About a week and a half ago she broke the spell she had over me, and I realized that from day one of our now 7 year relationship, I've been gaslit beyond anything I've ever imagined possible. She played my biggest insecurities against me, not intentionally but it came so damn naturally to her. Every time she apologized I believed her, because she believed herself. I believe her this time too, but I know it won't be any different, because she's a narcissist incapable of acknowledging that she's anything but the victim in any aspect of her life, much like my mother who I haven't spoken to in several years. Freudian I know. Here we are almost to our 2 year anniversary, 9 months after me asking her for the divorce, and delay after delay after delay, to make sure she can stay in this house which is great for her, at a big cost to myself, and she had the gall to expect me to give even more, take more of a loss, not ask, expect, no conversation, just papers in front of me for several thousand less than we agreed, then to tell me what else I should give her, because it's only fair, that was what woke me up, that was a week and a half ago, and despite sharing a house still I haven't spoken to her outside of handling the divorce and sale of the house, I'm not mean, I'm not spiteful, it's just business at this point. Getting away from her is my only care. It's completely disarmed any argument she had. I don't give her anything. Pick a fight? Okay. Please order the appraisal okay. Thank you. It's taken all, and I mean all the power she had over me away. I can see what's ahead of me, and I'm nothing but excited. 
We are less than a month from me moving out and starting to live my life for me, buying the house I want, decorating how I want, participating in the hobbies and activities that I want without her complaining the entire time. I don't really know why I'm posting this after lurking for so long. Maybe it'll help one or two people here see that while things may be miserable for you right now, someone that can do this to you is not someone worth spending this energy on. Moving on is just moving you closer to being happy. At least it is for me. I love you all. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it please remember to like the video and subscribe. Have an amazing day.